14 flights cancelled at Auckland Airport today, down from 35 yesterday, and a sense that the various responses to the ruptured fuel line between Marsden Point and the country's busiest airport are starting to work. But at what cost? Now, the pipe belongs to Refining New Zealand, and the New Zealand Refining Company's shareholders include Mobile Oil New Zealand, Z Energy, and BP Holdings New Zealand. But the biggest single contributor to, to, the, to the relief effort is from the Navy's oil tanker, HMNZS Endeavour, which is collecting almost 5 million litres of diesel from Marsden Point. And, of course, Defence Force drivers are behind the wheels of some of the road tankers taking jet fuel to Auckland. So, I asked the Minister, Judith Collins, who's paying for this? Well, I haven't given that the attention that I expect will be, it will be given after this um, issue's sorted. Because I think at the moment, I don't think any of us want us to sit there and say, is it worth us doing this or not? Or well, they just want us to get it done and sorted. And that's what my focus is. So I'm sure that there will be a lot of insurance issues. There will be a lot of people making claims and whatever. But right at the moment, the big focus on getting the entire industry, um, government and everyone else working together along with council um, has been the number one important issue for us. Here, here, and I think everyone would agree with that. But nonetheless, Refining New Zealand is a public company. Its shareholders uh, are the uh, oil companies. Um, are they making the taxpayer pick up the costs of this operation when, in fact, it has nothing to do with the taxpayer? Well, they're not asking us to do these things. We have offered it, um, and of course they're taking up many of those offers. But I think the main thing is, is that the taxpayers can't actually get to work or they can't um, make the income to pay the tax if they can't get the fuel. So we're, at this stage, what we're doing is just doing what we can to help. And we do this all the time anyway, uh, whenever there's a natural disaster or some issue that we need to deal with but it's not good enough with a city the size of Auckland or any city really to have people not be able to get access to land fuel and the aviation fuel and that's why I'm really pleased we've had some really good results. Minister I just want to drill, drill down into the cost to the taxpayer. Are you expecting refining NZ's insurers or the petrol company's insurers to reimburse the government for the costs of tidying up after a failure of private enterprise? Well, I'm not, I haven't even addressed this one, John, and partly because my focus the entire time is getting that fuel and keeping it fuel going. Um, so certainly I'm sure those are the sorts of things will be considered in a review and um, investigations as well. I think there's going to be a lot of work done after this and um, I don't know whether or not I'll be the Minister because we don't know what's going to happen on Saturday and what happens after that. Um, so at the moment my big focus is on what I can help with and that is trying to help everyone work together. What caused this? Do you know? Was it a digger and if so was the digger in pursuit of Swamp Cody in this field? Well, all I know is that um, the Ministry of Primary Industries has today advised me, after media speculation, they've advised my office that um, their latest, uh, that they heard um, that there was any Kauri looked at in that farm was in March 2011. They've also said that um, that was around 800 metres uh, from the site. So I think we do need to have a very thorough investigation into what's happened. Minister, there's so much speculation and as of yet so few answers. How important is it that we learn what caused this utterly preventable occurrence? I think it's crucially important because my focus is, and I think most New Zealanders would expect us to do this, would to find out how it is that such a cru crucial piece of infrastructure was damaged in a way, um, and certainly that damage was able to cause the disruption that it has, and when it happened, by whom and how. 
That's the Minister Judith Collins talking to us this afternoon.